Okay, so what I want to go through now is I want to talk about the domestic market, okay, because you're going to need this, you know, for the subsequent uh, mini lectures to look at um, the effect of having imports and exports, okay, in terms of having trade. Okay, so what we can do is get a look at the domestic market for a particular good. Okay, this good can be anything. It can be a lamp, it could be hats, baseball caps, it could be uh, pants, it could be cars, okay, it could be cell phones. Okay, but the idea is, is that this is the market within a specific country. Okay, so what we have, okay, this should look very familiar to you, what we have is usual supply and demand graph, okay, but with one major difference. Okay, so downward sloping demand curve and upward sloping supply curve. But you'll notice the difference here is that there's an extra D in front of these both of these. And so what does that mean? Okay, so in terms of D, it means domestic. Since we're dealing with a domestic market, we're talking about domestic demand, but also in terms of domestic supply. Okay, so the demand and supply within this particular country for this particular good. Okay, and so what we also know, though, is similar is that, you know, where is the price? Well, at the equilibrium. And where's the equilibrium? Where the supply and the demand curves cross. Okay, in this case, where domestic supply equals domestic demand. All right, so what we want to do now is to try and find, you know, these, in order to you know, analyze trade and so forth, we're going to use total surplus. So what we first have to do is to find consumer surplus and producer surplus. And so remember from the slides, the consumer surplus of the net benefit to the buyers of a market is basically the area below the demand and above the price. Okay, so it's basically represented by this area in green. Okay, so consumer surplus. All right, so that's the net benefit to the buyers. Now, what about for the sellers? Okay, for the sellers to find the producer surplus, it's basically the area below what? The area below this price and above the supply curve. Okay, and so it's represented by this red area here. Okay, so we have surplus. Okay, and so combined then, this green area and this red area represent, because there is no government revenue, total surplus. Okay, so the main thing to know about, or one other thing to know about this is, remember, this is a domestic market. This is if there is no trade. Okay, okay so this represents a closed economy, basically one without trade. Okay, so we need this as kind of our baseline in terms of seeing what happens when we do have a market, domestic market with exports, as well as a domestic market with imports.